Mike Thalassitis Grieving Pals have launched a GoFundMe page in a bid to raise £25,000 for his funeral. The Love Island star's heartbroken family have been hit with double costs following Mike's grandmother dying just days before Mike took his own life. The page has already garnered £4,283 of its £25,000 goal. Close friend Ellie O'Donnell donated £250. It was reported Ellie was Mike's girlfriend, however she has since addressed the rumors on her Instagram page and insisted Mike was just a dear friend. Yesterday, Mike's devastated Buzine's partner spoke out on the fate of the restaurant they were due to open together. It followed various reports since Mike's death about him having financial problems. Mike's business partner Scott Nielsen took to his Instagram page and revealed the set in Lawton, S will indeed open. In a statement shared to his 4.9k followers, Scott penned, just to address all the speculation. I would like to make it clear we will be opening the set when it is ready, it has been a tough week trying to continue to sort, things out. However, Mike would have wanted this cafe to open, he spent every day for the past couple of months working hard to make this place a success so we are pulling together to get this ready for everyone and especially for Mike. Can't wait to share it with you all, and I will announce the date of the opening shortly. Mike, who was 26 when he d, was found hanged in Woodland near his home in S last weekend. Shortly after Mike's death, Love Island bosses announced they'd be implementing a new aftercare plan for contestants. It's reported the new care strategy will include social media training and financial management advice. For emotional support you can call the Samaritans 24-hour helpline on 116 123, email joe at samaritans.org, visit a Samaritans branch in person or go to the Samaritans website.